other species of shark with yeah. teeth. So, for example, there's been situations where I've um, I've been gummy shark fishing and I've gotten I've gotten cut off by what I know is a shark with teeth. So I always have these in my um, in my rig bag, and then I'll switch to I'll get a running sink clip because you can't obviously tie like a drop loop rig with this. <coughs> I cast this back out with a bait, and I generally pick up that that shark with teeth again. Um, I thought I did include the photo of a little bronzy where that that happened. Oh, yeah, this is the other thing. If you are into catching these ugly things, draft board sharks, fish the small swell. You'll catch five, six, seven of them, every bait that you put out. This is what happens when we fish. Yeah, what for? In a small swell. Hey? Yeah, what for? Why would you want to catch them? Yeah. Yeah, no, well, you wouldn't. Have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's amazing just in a small swell. It's like these sharks just are so physically inept. <laughs> it's <the> only time <laughs> When it's cut, yeah. they can actually move. That's, They've got such small fins, and yeah, catching they're those not one of God's greatest it's like, creatures. It's like pulling up a brick that gives you a little bit of resistance. <laughs> what we got <laughs> no, it's got a draft board shark. Yeah. No, what we got would be something. This is just the, the pest of all pests. Yeah. And you'll just you'll catch these constantly on those balmy, beautiful nights where it's blowing and all yeah. and you've just got that light swell. Is the worst time to do this kind of fishing. You don't even know, you don't even know you got them there unless no, every every now there. and then they'll go oh I've had enough of swimming yeah. with the line yeah. and they go hmm. and it's yeah. like oh are you maybe there is something there yeah you'll bring it in and then you'll know it. You even when you get them in. into the boat they you'll just they in. go oh all right yeah I, I don't know what their purpose is in all right the bait sorry all right the bait no I, I just throw them back on I'd say that wouldn't be great for bait. Um, yeah, to answer your question, I reckon, yeah, carpets probably are a good shark bait if those guys are doing it. Yeah, mm. interesting. Mm. Give it a try, eh? I think anything fresh is good. Rass. Mm. Rass, know, Rass is another one, the com commercial guys use that, and it's hardy. Yeah. Talking about the eel, um, one of our members here actually caught some eel down at a dam where we go and catch them. He took them um, with us down to Flinders. They weren't cured. And I reckon they actually scared the fish away. Because they, they hadn't been cured. It's a scary flo floating eel. No, no, because an eel, when it when you kill it, it actually um, excretes this chemical out of its skin. And because it wasn't cured and had that soaked out or whatever, throw it down, it was almost That's like a repellent. Now. So, <laughs> yeah, don't get fooled into going, oh, yeah, if I go out and catch some eel, it'll yeah. be a good bait. Yeah. If it's not cured, shit. Yeah, look, I, I just... These days I pretty much just take squid and if, if they're hard to come by and maybe got salmon in the freezer from out fishing on the boat or some little trebs or something, I'll take them too. Mm. I know in like Western Port and stuff, I don't fish it for gummies. Guys talk about how good oily fish fillets are, but squid will outfish them 10 to 1 in the surf. Now, it's got to do with obviously its toughness and I don't know, it's just it's, its smell, maybe it's part of what they naturally eat out there. Just, it definitely works better. <laughs> Any other uh, questions yet? Can I be a name? Can I ask you to go through the weight of your bait and sinker in your rod baiting as well again, please? The, the weight of the sinker? The, the sinker in your bait and the rating on your rod. So. Oh, okay. So this this rod can cast six ounce, six right. ounce plus. So yeah. A lot of them will, will tell a few fibs. Unfortunately, tackle companies lie about pretty much yeah, yeah. everything here. Yeah. Um, but this one here can easily do. I can cast, I'd say, nine ounces with this comfortably with that reel on it. Um, six ounce sinker is the, the, the minimum I'll use. Yeah. yeah, and it's hard to find seven and eights. Yeah. The other thing you'll find is, these ones are actually quite good, but a lot of the star sinkers, where the swivels, you know, sits in it, it can pop out with, the, with, with that sand issue. Um, it used to happen all the time. Um, and then the line I'm using, yeah, is 50 yeah. pound. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, with a 60 pound shock leader. Did you have another question? No, no. Uh, anyone else have any questions? I have no idea. It was pulled that long ago, I don't know. Okay. And I work for a fishing magazine, so I get sent braid all the time, and I just, I just use whatever they say. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you don't need any, you know, <coughs> amazing, amazing braid. If you really do want to use an amazing braid, that's uh, hands down the best is Diver Saltiga Surf. It's round, it's smooth, costs you about 130 bucks, but it's awesome. Yeah. What do you think of their surf rods? 
the dialers. Yeah, the South Vegas. Yeah, yeah, they're amazing. Oh, um, ballistic surfs. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. For um, I my favourite rod to use is the old. Um, do you know what it's called? What's it called? No, 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 no. The dialer one. It's a um. Not a ballistics. Not a saltist. They released a new oh, series of the uh, Surf tape? No, no, no that's, a real, that's the real. Oh, you're talking about rod, sorry. Um, talking about real. Blood Demon Blood or something like that? No, no it's, it's, it's its own little quiet series that's really bloody good and they changed it. And it's not. I think it's still just as good but it's different colours now. But it'll come to me, I'll tell you before I go. That's, that's my favourite rod to use, so it's pro probably half the <coughs> diameter of this. Um, heaps lighter, casts further, you can cast I think up to 8 ounces. Um, but pretty much Daiwa, when you get out of this pen prevail, Daiwa is the only other company that makes off the shelf rods that can do this kind of thing. I don't know why they do it, but they do and they're the best. Yeah. C-Jigger. C-Jigger. Thank you, Adam. Yeah, it's the C-Jigger. The C-Jigger 325. Thank you, Google. Yeah. No, I didn't get there. <laughs> 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 didn't quite get there. Demon blood. It's Yeah. Yeah, but pretty much that, the Sea Jigger and then the Ballistics. Um, yeah, they're like it. Because I don't find, I've got some nitros. They're just not good enough. Yeah, well, the nitro is pretty light, like the three piece yeah, nitro. The three piece Messiah. Yeah, the Messiah, yeah. It's too light for this kind of thing. That's got like a four ounce cast rating on yeah. it. Yeah. If you go to Florida, they do. It's massive in Florida. Shark fishing off the <coughs> beach, and they catch like 80 kilo hammerheads. They've got like amazing rods that we just don't get here. So yeah, it's pretty much the the ballistics, the sea jigger, the pen prevail. They're the only three until you start getting into custom crazy stuff. But you know, the guys. Well, Adam's a good guy to talk to. He runs a page called Land Based Addicts. Um, that are addicted to land-based fishing. Um, he knows all sorts of stuff about these kinds of rods. But look, for 200 bucks, this thing's, this thing's pretty bloody good. It's got Fuji guides, you know, it's got full grips. It's tough, it can cast it. Just out of curiosity, does anybody want to go and do this now after tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Are you offering a spot? <laughs> no, I'm just wondering if anyone wants to actually do it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like sure. one guy put his hand up, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, any other questions at all? I'm happy to answer them. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm a trout fisherman as well. Yeah. A couple of things. Uh, I like that. Uh, before the would be a very good thing for you guys at the night time. Yeah. I've never worn one in the river.